Welcome back NYC fragrance family. Today I'm going to talk to you about some fragrances from the house of Lalique. A few of my subscribers have asked for this, so I have the fragrances. They're all good values. I blind bought most of them. I would say I blind bought all of them. Uh, the first one that I had bought was based on videos and recommendations and things I heard about them. The rest of them, I kind of just took a chance. They're all good values. Problem with one or two of them is I believe they are discontinued so that you're not going to get the fragrance or may not be able to get it at a cheap price. Some of them are still out there at good values. Some I was able to track down. I didn't pay under $30 or around $30 for them, but I'm going to share my thoughts on them. It's not going to be full reviews here. If you want a full review of any of these fragrances, leave it in the comments below and let me know. And I could probably make that happen. Now, I'm not going to go over any of the Ancre Noirs because they've been talked to talked about at nauseam. You know, we all know that's a great line. You're looking for a vetiver, dark, rich fragrance. Go get Lalique's Ancre Noir, any one of them. You can get the Fresh Sport. You can get the Darkest Al Extreme. And then if you don't want, you want to be right in between, you just get the original Ancre Noir. So that's all I'm going to say on Ancre Noir. So the first one, I was only able to track down and I got these two little miniature bottles of this fragrance. And it is the Pour Homme and it is their flanker called La Fawn. I don't know if you can see that. That's the one that has the fawn head in it. Almost looks like a spiral when you look at it from a distance, like a snail, but it's it's a fawn's head. This one here is mostly about lavender, vanilla, and amber. It's a sweeter aromatic fougere fragrance. So you take an aromatic aromatic fougere fragrance, throw in a little bit of vanilla and some and some amber, make it really sweet, or add some sweetness to it, and it gives it a more modern take. To me, out of the three that are in this line, this is my least favorite. I do like it, don't get me wrong. If you could track it down and it does come back in the discount sites, it's worth picking up, I think. But right now I have two of these little things that, you know, I can give it a couple of wearings and enjoy. But I believe this one has been discontinued. Don't quote me, but I believe it has been. The next one is also from this line, and it is the one with the horse head on it. And it's Equus. Now, Equus is mostly about juniper, vetiver, cardamom, bergamot. It even has some citron. This one's more of an oriental spicy fragrance than a fougere fragrance. Definitely get that vetiver. It's nice and light, though. And I get that spiciness and I get that hint of that cardamom. It is, this is a nice one. This one, I would say, depending on your mood, if you're looking for a spicier fragrance than the original Pour Homme, which is the one with the lion head, which we'll be talking about soon, Equus is a good recommendation. You could still find Equus relatively cheap, so, but I think this one may be going the same route as the previous one and getting discontinued. So, something to keep in mind. The next one, I just mentioned it. It's the lion head. It's the one we usually talk about. It's the one that gets recommended time and time again. The Pour Homme. Now this is Pour Homme. Sometimes you'll see it in brackets. It says lion. This one is the one that they say is the cheap man's water Portugal. Pretty much is. Highly recommend this one. As you can see, I wear this one. I've worn it quite a bit. This one I consider to be one of my best work fragrances. I just, when I'm looking for something like this, I feel like wearing something like this, this one does the job. The next one is a great cheapy summertime staple that's not like anything else. And I'm showing it to you already because I already wanted to smell it, sorry. But it is Lalique White. Lalique White has some pepper, it has elemi, has some bergamot, tamarind, which is a sticky, sweet, Asian type of flavoring, or it 
it's kind of, I wouldn't call it a citrus, but it, or a fruit, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know it's used in cooking a lot. I know it's like a paste, usually is a paste form, and it adds sweetness to the food, which probably adds some sweetness to the smell of this fragrance as well. Probably should have done my research on tamarind before I got into this, but you know what? As I jot the notes down, I was kind of like, ah, I kind of have an idea what tamarind is. I've had tamarind drinks. I've tasted tamarind in food. You get the you get the you get the picture here. Malik White, summertime fragrance. The price point that it's coming in at. A lot of people say it'll smell similar to Parfum de Mali Galloway. Not really that that familiar with that. I had a sample. I can't really say from the top of my head if it smells similar to that, but all in all, solid fragrance for the summertime. Lalique, I'm telling you, they are you're getting great value with Lalique as far as I'm concerned. I think they all are made high quality and smell fantastic. So the last three are probably my favorite three. I actually have one more bonus that I'm gonna have to throw in here but it's not a cheapy but I'll throw it in at the end so for those of you that don't really care you don't have to watch the last fragrance it's a little more expensive than the rest of these so now we're getting into the ones I really really enjoy because they have such a niche quality to them and they smell so different and they'll just make you stand out and again great values except for one of them because I think I paid around $55 for it because it is probably discontinued as well. I don't see it in discount sites anymore. So the first one is Homage Alone. Now you may see pictures of this and the bottle looking different. This one is a violet, violet leaf oud saffron fragrance with a hint of tonka that just gives it a little touch of sweetness smells fantastic for an oud you know it may be a synthetic oud or whatever it is this is you want an oud fragrance is an entry level oud fragrance or something with oud in it i recommend this one 100 percent and you could probably f find this in discount sites still this this one is pretty much still re readily available now this reminds me of a niche fragrance that i have and own somewhat not 100 percent, but somewhat Aqua de Firenze's Homo Novus. This reminds me of that just a little bit. There's similarities because of that oud and the tonka and the saffron. That's what gives the vibe, but the Aqua de Firenze has more notes, more complex. It's not the same exactly, but there is a vibe that's similar. That's what I'm gonna say. Still a fantastic fragrance. This is a date night, nighttime fragrance, 100%. The next one is a flanker of that one and is Homage à l'Homme Voyageur. Now this is the blue bottle, dark blue bottle, similar shape bottle. I, this is actually the bigger one, so I'm happy I got this bigger one for this because this is discontinued. Now this fragrance is... a little richer than the other one. That, that much I'm going to say. Without a doubt, it's richer. This one, you get vetiver, patchouli, papyrus. It's mossy, and it's got some cardamom in it. It's just a little bit more complex, a little bit more interesting than the other one. But they all, they both shine in two different ways. So it's not like they took the original and just made something with a little twist. It's almost like two separate fragrances. Both of them have a nuance that'll remind you of each other very slightly, but this doesn't smell like that at all, as far as I'm concerned, like as the overall scent. So when you say, if I have that one, do I need this one? You don't need anything, but I'm going to say, if you have that one and you want this one, you should probably try and get it. The last one here I'm going to talk about before the bonus one, which it is what it is, is Linsumi. Now this one's got like the side things like a Killian bottle kind of sort of. When I first got this one, again, it was a blind buy. And I put it on 
took the dog for a walk. The smells I was smelling off of me going around the block, I was just loving it. This is one of my best finds lately. At the price that I got this at, the quality of this fragrance, one of the best I've picked up recently. I am 100% happy I have Lin Sumi in the collection. Now they also have Lin Sumi Ma Force, which has pineapple in it. I don't see good write-ups on it, but almost because I have this and I have most of these Laliques, I just might pick it up just to have it in the collection. I, you know what? I, I see people giving ratings of twos and threes to fragrances out of ten that I think are sevens. I, you know, what are you going to do? There's people giving three ratings on Fragrantica, three out of five, and then I get the fragrance and it's an, a, a four out of five, in my opinion. Or sometimes a four out of five on Fragrantica, in my opinion, becomes a two out of five. Everybody has different tastes. So I might give Ma Force a chance. I don't have that one right now, but I think I might have to add it. So I promised you a bonus one. Now the bonus one is going for around $100 on discount sites. Full retail, over 300. This is like a creed. This would be like their niche line or their elite line. We call it the Noir Premier line. And the fragrance I have, and I've talked about it before and it's made some of my list before from Lalique is 1888 or Intemporal. If you can see that. Bottle's totally different. Even the homage alone comes in a fancier bottle. There's a more upscale bottle. This is from the first time I smell it, one of my favorite tobacco fragrances. It's just a sweet tobacco. Beautiful. I remember all I did was spray it on the back of my thumb. And it was on there all day the first time I smelled it in the store. Now, the person told me how much it was, and I walked away. I searched for it online as I left the store and bought it for the price that I just mentioned, right around $100. I believe now they're going maybe $90 on Fragrance Net, I think. Don't quote me, but I know I've seen it cheap. This is a great, great tobacco fragrance. Now, this ain't the time of year for tobacco. And like I said, this is the bonus fragrance. When I'm going into the house of Lalique. And there is one or two more out of this line that I wanted to pick up. I know one was more cardamom heavy. And one was more of a woody aromatic. But all in all, these are the Laliques that I wanted to talk to you about. These are all the Laliques that I own at the moment. If I throw in Moth Wars, if there's any other ones that I might be interested in. If there's any that you know of that I may not have mentioned. And please... None of the Ancre Noirs, because I did mention them in the beginning. I have all three of them. So, if there's any other Laliques besides the one that I mentioned, please leave in the comments below what you think I should check out. So, new viewers, thank you for stopping by. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances family. And my NYC Fragrance family, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for the continued support. I appreciate everything you guys do love chatting back and forth please continue to leave comments shows me that you're interested in the video it shows me that you're interested in getting to know me and having some chatter back and forth i'm not one of these guys that's going to create a facebook group so pretty much this is it either you're going to find me on instagram or you're going to find me on youtube facebook is not my thing so till the next time remember if you smell good you feel good have a nice day